Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A woman who lost her father to brain cancer has opened up on how she grieved her dad before he had even died after the disease left the fit and healthy bus driver, childlike, within just 48 hours. Peter Patton Den, 59 from Wadanga on the NSW Victoria border, died in March 2020 just months after doctors discovered tumors in his brain. Mr. Patton Den was once a fit and healthy bus driver who even featured on the front page of his local newspaper after completing a 52 km swim in the Hume Weir in 2012. He became known as the Wadanga Raiders' unofficial mascot when he dressed up as a Viking and played his electric guitar to the delight of the crowd. However, when Mr. Patton Den lost his balance trying to put on a pair of socks in late 2019 his partner knew something was wrong and rushed him to hospital. Doctors attempted to remove the tumors during grueling 12-hour surgery at Royal Melbourne Hospital the very next day. He was then approved for six weeks of radiation and chemotherapy in an attempt to shrink the tumors before undergoing two weeks of rehab. The father of four lost the use of the left-hand side of his body and soon needed help to eat, go to the toilet and perform basic tasks. His only daughter, Rachel Williams, 33, has opened up on her father's final days, telling Daily Mail Australia his death ultimately inspired her to live life to the fullest. Ms. Williams said her father went from being strong and fit to becoming childlike in less than 48 hours, in a transformation that came as a shock to his loved ones. They celebrated what would be Mr. Pattenden's last Christmas in the wellness room of the Cancer Center in Albury, in a day she described as both wholesome and sad. Eventually, Mr. Patton Den was moved to palliative care where a decision was made to limit the number of visitors he could receive to allow him to rest. You could see his head was throbbing, Ms. Williams said. He was on so many heavy painkillers, his eyes were sort of drooping out of his head. You could see that he was really struggling with the amount of people and the conversations and having to stay awake for so long. At the end of the day, you just want them to be as comfortable as possible. Ms. Williams said she began to grieve her father before he had even died. It's really hard to process, it's an emotional f asterisk 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 around in your head because you're grieving them but they're still alive, she said. And then almost wanting them to die because you know that it's going to be better for them. I knew that he had no life left in him. I knew he had no quality of life. He couldn't get out of bed. You feel guilty for just wanting it to hurry up and happen, but it's like, if the inevitable is going to happen, can it just happen already? Mr. Patton Den passed away peacefully on March 3, 2020 at Wadanga Hospital. Ms. Williams said his death forced her to reevaluate what she wanted from her life and pushed her to do the things she had previously been scared of. It just opened my eyes up so much, she said. I was just living in La La Land, day in, day out doing the same thing. It was just this huge slap in the face as to how quickly life can be taken from you. Nobody expected my dad to die and nobody expected him to die that way losing all his mobility and any independence that he had, it was just so unexpected. So for me, I took that lesson and I don't want my dad to die in vain. I want to change my life and do things I've been too scared to do and live my life a bit more. We ended up selling our house and moving from Victoria up to Queensland, we just sold our house down there and bought a house on the internet up here. Ms. Williams has shared moments of her grief journey on TikTok where she hopes to inspire people to share their own experiences of loss. A video of Peter coming to her home for dinner for the last time has had more than 1 million views on TikTok. Hundreds of people shared their own experiences of losing family members to the same brain cancer, called glioblastoma, in the comments. I feel like more people should be open about talking about their grief because it's that saying of we're stronger together. If more people are open to talking about it and normalizing it and allowing people to feel what they need to feel, I feel like, grief, would be an easier process for people, she said. Living in a world where ilm.